Hebrews 9.27 says, It is appointed unto man once to die, and then the judgment. Today I want to talk to you about life, death, and the resurrection. Why are we here? Why life? Why were we created? And death? And the resurrection? I am here today in the, uh, at the cemetery. My brother's remains uh, are here underneath this ground, about six feet under. So let's talk about life. God created us to give Him glory, to live for Him, and God also gave us a standard by which we are to live life. Life is very precious, and life is very fragile. At any given moment or time, you can go. An accident, a heart failure, and you're done. Now let's talk about death. At the moment you die, some question, where, where, where do we go when we die? The Bible makes it very clear that we're going to be judged when we die. So what you do in this life matters very much. The flowers here at the cemetery mean nothing to the remains of a deceased person. A lot of this hatred, backbiting, gossip, and all of this. Hey, there's peace here in the cemetery, but you go outside this, this uh, place, there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of uh, stepping on people just to get to that place where you want to go. But at the end of the day, at the end of life, the rich die, the poor die, the healthy die, the unhealthy die, and then they are judged. So let's move on to the point in re resurrection. The Bible says in John 28, 528, excuse me, and those that are in the graves shall rise some unto everlasting life, that's heaven, and others unto everlasting life in damnation. So our bodies are going to be resurrected from the graves, those that have died before Jesus return, and then they will be judged. So if you're not right with God, I want to say this. It is very important, very, it is the most important thing in your life to be right with God. Because you may go at any given time. Are you right with God? Have you surrendered your life to Jesus as your Lord, God, and Savior? Are you living in holiness? If you have matters to deal with your family or your friends at work, it is time to get right with your friends, co-workers, but primarily with God. There's no peace. As you see on these plaques, it, they say they read as follows. Rest in peace. The Bible says there is no peace for the wicked. You must be born again, Jesus Christ says in John 3.3. 3. Verily, verily, I say unto you, unless a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. The Bible also says that the books will be opened. The books will be opened. Is your name, is your name written in the book of life? God knows every deed, every act that you have done. The Bible says there is nothing done in secret that will not be revealed at judgment day. So I want to encourage you to pick up the Bible and read the New Testament. Begin with the Gospel of John. Follow Jesus with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the book will be closed. At the end of human history, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, there will be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more suffering, no more death. 